Hey, what's up guys, Bajiri here. So, as you can see, by popular demand and in celebration of my upcoming physique competition, we've got the classic Games and Gains shirts and hoodies back for sale. So, if you guys want to pick up another Games and Gains shirt, or if you missed your opportunity before, you have from now until September 22nd to pick yours up. Keep in mind these do come in women's and hoodies sizing and a variety of colors as well. So you've got your option in terms of how you want to support your support for the games and games lifestyle. Thank you guys so much for your continued support on these shirt campaigns. It has been absolutely amazing and we've already sold 112 uh, in like two or three days. So these things are flying off the virtual shelves and I would love to see all of you guys wearing these whenever I get to meet you guys at TwitchCon, BlizzCon, or even just tweeting at me on Twitter. Either way, guys, thanks for your support. Pick up some games and games apparel if you want it. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the video. Hey, what's up, guys? Bajira here. So, just one last thing about those games and game shirts. Obviously, the intro was recorded, you know, near the beginning of the campaign, and today, when this video is posted, is actually the final day that you can get games and games shirts for this campaign. So, uh, as unbelievable as it is, you guys have picked up over 500 of them, which makes it the most successful shirt campaign ever, even though we've done a few, so... You guys are kicking ass, and I really appreciate that. So if you guys wanted to pick up an another Games and Gain shirt, uh, if you already had some, or you haven't gotten a chance to pick them up, now's a great time to do it since the campaign ends after today. But anyway, for this video, we're going to get into this. This is my back workout, but if you guys know anything about me, I'm a huge fan of supersets. So I'm also throwing in a little bit of chest in there, just because, just like I do on my uh, chest days, I do a little bit of back. I also like to do a little bit of chest on my back days. I do think it really enhances my overall pump, my overall intensity for the workout, plus um, I really, really enjoy working out, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Um, and uh, I think doing a little bit of superset, even if it's um, sort of opposing movements or you know working muscles that aren't um, the intended muscle for that day, uh, is a lot of fun. It feels good. So just something that I do because I enjoy it, but uh, also, uh, as we've mentioned uh, before in these videos, especially with the return of bulk Jira, um, I'm eating a whole lot of food. and. Um, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm recovering well enough that, uh, you know, training a, a little bit of chest um, after I even do chest day the day before, during my back day, isn't really that bad of an idea. Plus, I think I've got a long way to go uh, in terms of recovering a lot of the muscle mass uh, that I may have lost during the diet. And I've also, uh, I just feel like I have a whole lot of muscle to gain in general, whether it's reclaiming old muscle or, uh, you know, building new muscle. I, I think I've got a lot, a lot of room to grow and... Uh, I'm, not, I'm the kind of guy who uh, can train similar muscle groups or the same muscle groups um, a couple days in a row and have it be okay. You know, when I was younger, when, I, when my bench press was like my main focus, my, my, my main love of training, I would go into the gym and I would bench press every day hard. So, you know, I, for whatever reason, I'm able to train, you know, this way and, and it seems to be working out okay for me. Now, later on in my training, uh, there may become a time where I really just am destroying muscle groups. Uh, you know, I'm destroying my chest, and I really can't do much chest outside of just chest day. But um, at this point, I'm still feeling really, really good. Um, I wouldn't really say that I'm doing full body every day, but I definitely am incorporating, um, you know, a lot of different movements every day. So even on my back day, I'm really focused on hitting my back as hard as I can. And then when I'm doing my chest workout stuff for my back day, it's not really as intense. So I am definitely letting... Um, the primary muscle groups for that day be the main focus, you know, so I'm really hitting my back really, really hard. That's my main priority. But then when I do chest, I'm not, like, slacking on it, you know, but I'm not giving maximal, like, you know, intensity to it. I mean, I'm definitely working hard. I'm definitely, you know, approaching failure, but I'm not just pushing crazy weight around, I guess. Um, although, near the end of this workout, I was actually pushing a little bit heavier weight on the normal little bench press machine. But, for example, I'm doing machines rather than, like, hopping over to the bench press and doing, like, barbell benching or dumbbell benching. I'm just doing all machines, which is a lot more supportive. It just allows me to get a little bit of a pump in there and just sort of uh, get extra work done. Um, I also like to use machines for my back as well, so I guess I shouldn't be talking how, about how bad uh, machines are, but that's not what wasn't my intention anyway. Um, but uh, these are exercises that I've done, th these two back machines that I've been showing you guys so far. One of them was plate loaded, one of them is just like a little stack that you use. Um, these are two machines that really, really helped me out with my back um, progression. Even when I was dieting um, in those last two months between my first show and my second show, I do feel like my back came along a lot. Part of that was just the diet helping in my back show as I lost body fat. But I think another part of it was really um, 
you know, doing a really wide grip uh, pull down, that helped me out a lot. Um, I've always enjoyed doing these rows, and, I, and I'm trying to get better at doing the rows. I'm allowing myself to work with a little bit lower weight so I get the right kind of squeeze in my back, and I'm learning. But um, doing those wide grip pull downs and stuff really helped my lats flare out. And, uh, you know, as you progress, you're going to get more and more in touch with your muscle groups. As they grow, they're going to be more responsive. So it kind of builds on itself. So if you're a beginner just looking to get in the gym, you know, definitely take things slow, but also understand that the more you, the more work that you're willing to put into your uh, your fitness, um, the sort of, obviously, that's kind of how it is for everything. The more work you're able to put in, the more successful you're going to be. But um, things actually sort of build on each other. Your enjoyment of training will probably increase. Your understanding of training will increase. You'll actually get um, not only a better physique, but you'll get better at building your physique as you go. At least I feel like I have. I feel like I still have just monumental amounts to learn about you know fitness and bodybuilding but I've already felt like I've learned so much during the time that I've been doing it you know I think I started I've always been into fitness since I was younger uh, but that was mostly for sports and stuff I think the, the bodybuilding interest has only come about for like the past you know three or four years but um it's been a whole lot of fun and I'm really really digging it you know I think this is something that uh makes a lot of sense to me in terms of something that I would like to do, you know, putting in a lot of hard work over a long period of time and seeing the results pay off. Um, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Always throwing a little bit of shrugs in here. Guys, I'm, I'm tr doing, like, once we were, we were talking about uh, um, training muscle groups every day, I'm pretty much hitting my traps every day. And uh, I think that they're, they're one of those muscle groups that you got to figure out some way to grow them. And I'm sure they need rest like any other muscle group to grow. But I'm sick and tired of not having these traps grow. So I'm just going to beat the shit out of them until they decide to grow. But anyway, that's the end of my back workout video for today. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to keep these training videos coming because I'm having a lot of fun in the gym right now, getting more food in my system. It feels really, really good. And it's turning into some awesome training sessions. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these gym videos, please be sure to hit them with a thumbs up. Please be sure to leave me any sort of feedback or questions you have in the comment section. Subscribe for more. And of course... Be sure to check out those games and gain shirts. Like I said, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time, and peace!